Hello, so welcome to my first ever stationery tour. So what happened is I recently um, kind of like uh, cleaned up all of my stationery because I hadn't done uh, anything like this since high school and so I accumulated so much stuff and so like I decided to like really tidy everything up and yeah so I'm just gonna give you a quick tour of what I have and what I like to use like my favorite things so first of all this is my desk so we're gonna start with like what I have on my wall for example I have some fan art from Hanavi Bara some uh, postal card from the Beatles that I got from my friend that went to Liverpool and here's like a BTS postcard here it's like my it's just a cup from Starbucks and I decided to store my tumble pins in here in here I don't have that many but I didn't know where, where to store them because I just feel like I need a really tall cup to store them because they're just really tall <laughs> and yeah I only have five but I really like them basically I just buy one once in a while every once in a while I don't buy them in like bulk so I have this color, which is the 533, um, this color, which is the 192, and these colors, I, I, I actually don't have them, their numbers, because as you can see, <laughs> like, everything, you can't see the number anymore, so, yeah, um, I think all of you know what tumbles are, but I'm gonna give you a quick swatch, so for example, these are my two most recent ones that I really like and because it, these are the ones that I have the number for I'm gonna swatch these ones so this one is really nice in pastel it's really pretty and this one you would think that it would be like blue but it's actually more like um, purple as you can see and it's really pretty light and watery and I would advise you all to just check on like um, swatches. There are swatches on YouTube of people who swatch all of the existent tumbles. And this is how I um, choose which tumbles I'm gonna buy because like the colors never look like uh, the colors that you can see here when they're on paper. Like they, they rarely do. So I mostly just like to watch swatches actually before buying them. Here is a little cup like this. I just have like some pens like this, but I never use them. But like, it's always useful to have like colored pens, I guess. And they're like, like I don't even know if I know the brand. So <laughs> I think they're brandless. I have another brush brush pen here actually, which uh, is a Ecoline brush pen, and it's really good. It actually like. I used to really like this color, it's kind of a yellow mm, mustard color and as you can see it's a really good pen. So here you can see the number, if it focuses, yeah it's 227 and it's actually cheaper, like these ones are cheaper than Tombow's which, which is why I bought it to try it out and it's really good quality actually. So yeah. Here I have other things. So these two um, things I have really essentials in them, like black pens, things like that. Um, what should I do? So this is like ballpoint pens. So I really don't want to swatch them. <laughs> this is a brush pen, and it's a Fab Faber Castell, but you know. I don't really like it, but I keep it just in case I need it. <laughs> uh, this is a, something that's supposed to write on t-shirts, actually. And I never tried it. <laughs> so I keep it here in case I want to try it um, someday. This is the Hobonichi pen. This pen I really like. It's a gel pen from Papermate. And... Yeah, and it's really nice. I'm gonna show you. It's 
a paper made and it's called it's a 0 0.7 so, so that's pretty much it so the reason like I don't really want to like spend too much time explaining this because <laughs> it's really like just essentials like for example this and here is a pen that I got from Emma but like it's a ballpoint pen and you know I barely use it but I think it's pretty so I keep it here just for decoration <laughs> basically so here is like my um <coughs> my pouch where I have my favorite thing that I use all the time so I'm gonna give you a tour let's go so what I have first is this which is So this is just a um, gel pen from where? Uh, yeah, this is a Unibo Signal gel pen, but inside of it I have a Muji ink. <laughs> so that's that. Then I have this, which my, is my favorite uh, white pen. I use it to do highlights, or it's really useful actually. It's a gel white pen this is just something to stick things this is one my liner and I use it because you know it's the one that I use the most out of all colors and it's really minimalist like the color gray and it goes with everything so it's really useful to have just this color in my um, everyday pouch this is the same um, <coughs> gel pen that I showed you earlier but in red and it's really useful as well this is just like a you know <laughs> pencil this is something like you know to stock things this is another gel pen which is in blue and so it, it's a pilot gel pen actually here is the food and Osiki brush pen which everybody has because it's the best <laughs> all the youtubers have it and I really don't regret purchasing it actually Stabilo Point Max and I think it's really useful I use it to do things like I'm gonna show you just these kind of things this is the pen that I use to do it so I really like it it's kind of an essential as well for me this is another pencil because you can never have enough yeah this is another gel pen because you can never have enough gel pens either and it's just um, a Saraza gel pen and which is, what is cool about it is that it's Snoopy themed so yeah. then another highlighter which is just a simple one this is a you know these kind of pens I don't remember the name in English but I love them but I barely use it these days and what I like about this is that I used to always use them with blue ink but now that I've discovered that you can have all the inks you want in this kind of pen in the fountain pens yeah well I change the ink all the time and it's really nice this is just a stamp it's really cute and small and it's a Snoopy themed uh, stamp which is from Friction um, Pilot so this means you can erase it actually I'm gonna show you I wanna erase it so I just use the back here of the stamp to erase it and here we go it's not perfect but you know it's gonna erase itself at some point <laughs> it's kind of embarrassing but you know when it was new it erased perfectly but now <laughs> anyway <laughs> it's okay what else do I have yeah of, um, this pouch I actually got from Tiger which is one of my favorite stores it's really nice and cheap this is another Fable Castle um, brush pen and it's a light blue I barely use it because it's just like a simple highlight in blue I don't know this is a ink a gel pen and it's a pink one from pilot it's a 0 0.5 and it barely shows but i still like it 
Then we have another pink <laughs> um, gel pen, and this one shows a little better, and it's really pretty. And which this is actually a paper mate replay, which means it's erasable, which is literally heaven. Like this pen is perfect, and this one erases actually really well. Like it erases better than this. <laughs> So, you know, then it's just like another pencil and, another, and a ballpoint pen. So, yeah, we don't care about ballpoint pens. <laughs> like, they're not really interesting to me, at least. Except if they're really, like, thin, like the Hobonichi one. The Hobonichi one is actually a ballpoint pen, if I remember well, but it's really thin. This is a, um, you know, a print thing. Uh, it's really practical because it's small, so I just put it in here. I really like small things because my pouch is actually not that big, and I don't really like to carry around a really big pouch. So I can't really carry around, for example, my tumblers. It's difficult to carry them around. That's why I like to have small things because I can put it in my little pouch. And it's practical and this one is cute so it's perfect here I just have post-its from you know then it's a knock knock post-it here is something that they gave us at like college and here is just like something that I got from London actually and it's you can write things in it and it's really nice and I keep it here because it fits perfectly I keep some other things so this this I actually got from IKEA and look at this this is supposed I got it at the kids section actually <laughs> but what is great about it is I use them to calligraphy and they are really good for it because the tip has a shape that is like triangular and you can really do calligraphy with it and I got them at IKEA so I'm gonna try and write IKEA and show y'all yeah i'm watching through the camera that's why it's not really perfect <laughs> right now my calligraphy but you know what i mean and yeah this is just where i keep my k-pop photo cards um i got this from aliexpress and yeah i have a few photo cards here i don't have that many i have mostly like twice and latest ones but yeah no it's pretty much it it's really pretty so I like it and it's like nice to carry around also I got it for very cheap at Aliexpress and that's pretty much it um, you know I'm just gonna keep on drinking my tea and that's it for my desk tour I hope you enjoyed it and see you next time